Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I am Rob and today we shall be attempting to take this Majorette Simca 1100Ti from Shabby to Shiny. I love these Majorette models. Uh, they always do the kind of the weird and the wonderful I feel and especially some of these uh, strange kind of Simca. I can't remember ever seeing one in a Hot Wheels or Matchbox or Corgi or Dinky but uh, you can trust that Majorette will come up with something. And I think it's got some wonderful detail in this uh, little casting. And uh, it's got a lovely colour, which I think I can replicate. And my intention was to do a restoration, restoration plus for this one. And uh, I actually really like this one. I'm looking at it as we speak, thinking to myself, that's pretty cool. Just subtle custom. And... Uh, it just does it for me. But anyway, we'll start uh, drilling down the center of the post. There is just one on this car. Removing that flange. And tapping the hole. Please do remember to lubricate the end of your piece. You do not want to snap it. And the little SIM card actually rolls really well. These majorettes, I do find that they roll well. Uh, as I mentioned, reading underneath there, Majorette Simca 1100Ti, made in France, bonjour, and this is uh, model number 234, you can see I've uh, pre-drilled this one, so just the uh, single uh, rivet there and a little tab holding the rear end on, so we just pull it forward from there, you can actually, the dash was just falling out there, the uh, the dash had snapped off from the uh, rest of the interior. But I do love the suspension, how it works on these uh, majorettes. And the good thing is you can pop out the little spring here and save the wheels. My desk still on a slight angle. So we'll uh, try and keep them up the top there without trying to lose them on the floor. But uh, yeah, the interior here, it looks like it's probably been, you know, it's been well played with, which is good. That's what these are for, right? Uh, but I think it's been played with in a kind of mud pile. And we do have a skeletal spider that uh, used this as its home for some time. But yeah, covered in mud here. And probably why the dash there had broken off the plastic has perhaps got a little bit brittle but thankfully this uh, does clean up well and sticks back together for uh, reassembly later on the interior it's a uh, yellow uh, plastic so it's not yellowed clear it's not like I can uh, kind of use anything to bring back the clear plastic there it is a yellow color which is fine and actually goes really well with the blue I think an opening uh, tailgate there or hatch but you can see that if I was to kind of pull those apart pull off this just to spray it individually this thing will never go back uh, to how it was so like Majorette did I'll be painting this with the uh, hatch in situ but on to the half, the six inch, I hope it's not six inches, but the six inch glass here, the half a half a foot long uh, hot dog jar. This did have the hot dogs in it, just of a uh, smaller variation. Boiling water and then a tablespoon of caustic soda. Uh, making sure, of course, I do wear my glove. And it seems, if you can just notice there, a little bit of red, probably from the uh, previous job, if you remember the, uh, the Volvo that we did. And maybe just had a little bit of paint left over in the jar or on that spoon. But yeah, quite a reaction with this one. And already you can see some of that paint coming off. But let's put it to one side. Let it do its thing. 
while well, so bringing back the uh, the plastic tub I found it in a, in a box and yeah I do uh, do like to use this for cleaning up all the interior and plastics and such uh, we'll chuck the base in as well it's got a little bit of grub on there I do brush over the wheels off camera as well so the interior there look at that from that dirty grubby we'll stick that back together and that looks as good as new the base as well give it a little polish up as well looking good like I say those uh, wheels I just went over it didn't even need any re-chroming on those wheels they look good as they are I was considered replacing them with some aftermarket but I liked the wheels they suited it and they fitted it well the uh, plastic here I'm gonna chrome the headlights um, I think it looks better like that and uh, polish up the, uh, the windscreen as you can see we've now got a bit of a shine on that windscreen to the sides holding it quite, uh, rather gingerly because the uh, chrome paint on those headlights are, is still wet but I think that'll look much better once uh, reassembled and it's been perhaps uh, 20 minutes or so this water has started to cool off now and uh, I think you know what's coming up here guys proving to be a uh, a little devil there trying to come out of the glass but sure enough I think you'll agree that we do have a 100% paint removal today thumbs up from me uh, but let's move on to the uh, the Dremel here and start uh, polishing up give it a little sample of the roof section here needs to do that all over in all of these little uh, nooks and crannies so we're using a Viejo uh, premium paint range this is the candy uh, racing blue so there's no primer on here the original appeared to be a candy over bare metal and I'll just uh, straight from the pot start spraying this on probably around a thousand coats maybe not really a thousand that's probably exaggerating probably only 999 but uh, certainly had to layer this up constantly to get it to the desired uh, blue that I was uh, seeking ultimately trying to replicate what was on there originally Uh, yeah there's the first coat and the further 998 coats uh, are done thereafter listening to a little bit of music so anyway we now have the uh, following day um, I'll glue this on before uh, reassembly but uh, yeah you've got the wheels there looking nice and shiny the uh, headlights there now dried with the uh, chrome I do think that makes it uh, look a lot nicer uh, just a basic uh, polish up on this base just to get it nice and shiny and then uh, like I say with the layers of uh, candy there and a little bit of uh, clear coat plus starting to highlight with a little bit of chrome and you know detailing but a little reminder of what she looked like 
this is the result so i think the blue and not just the the shade of blue but also the finish you know that kind of a candy over the bare metal i do think this is so very close to the original you'll notice there the chrome on the door handles but also the kind of lock on the door coming around the back again a little bit of chrome on the uh, kind of hatch release and badge and a little bit of red in those towel lights uh, that comes courtesy of just a, a red pen but uh, yeah the clear glass of course with that interior I think the yellow uh, window section really works against this blue and I think you'll agree or at least I hope so the chromed out headlights look so much better but anyway massive thanks to my patrons past and present and to everybody else watching thank you so very much please do like comment all those good things and I'll see you soon on the next one cheers guys